Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Tupperwine. Most people take the commonplace act of walking for granted. And I'm Vince Penman. For prosthetic designers, controlling the proportional load response required to simulate natural walking might be one of the most difficult design challenges we've seen. Imagine your own walking motion. A lot of force is created the moment your heel strikes the ground. As the action continues, you spring forward and allow the ball of your foot to propel you into your next step. In a previous episode, we showed how designers at College Park Industries developed a unique method for controlling the setup and alignment of prosthesis with their IPEX lab device. However, with prosthetics, as in most designs, more than one issue must be addressed to fully solve the problem. One of the major complications in designing a dynamic prosthetic device that moves with extreme precision is capturing and harnessing the ground reaction forces created when the foot hits terra firma. An average male human can exert as much as 16 psi of force onto the ground with each step. While that may seem small, consider this. An M1 Abrams tank exerts 15 psi on the ground at any given time. I guess that brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, that guy's a tank. Now imagine having to control and compensate for that force rapidly and repeatedly. We spoke to Mike Lydette and Kevin LaRue from College Park Industries Research and Engineering Groups about how their team created a system of springs that act in series to properly control these forces. But how did they design the series of springs to move with such precision and fluidity that the wear feels as if they have a natural gait? The solution comes from the careful tuning of the contraction and release of each spring. If a spring isn't tuned to work correctly with the others, it unloads its force at the wrong moment, which leads to a jerking or a dead spot during the ground contact phase of walking. To avoid these issues, the College Park engineers conducted rigorous analysis of the mechanics of footfall and gait with CAD and simulation software. By determining the stress on each spring as it was engaged, the designers were able to accurately time the reaction of each spring and create a system that works in a fluid and natural motion. With the precision designed into these prosthetics, most patients can participate in a wide range of activities that make up an active lifestyle. And honestly, this guy on the mountain bike would probably leave me sucking dust on the trails. Designers at College Park used Creo Parametric for the design and analysis of their integrated spring technology. You can see Creo Parametric in action at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. And make sure to join us next week for more great design engineering.